Hi everybody, uh, this is Devin Lockett, this is Biomed RX Radio and Biomed RX TV and I am here with Andrea Sanz, Sanz and Nassim Murakami, uh, my lovely guests and they represent <laughs> Healing Sound Alchemy and uh, so welcome. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you for having us Devin. Yeah, thank thank you. You. We're so excited thank to be here. Thank you. Pleasure. So here we are at the Biometa Rex Health Center, and uh, I'd like to know more about uh, Healing Sound Alchemy. What made you guys uh, decide to do this type of uh, therapy? Well, um, we met about a year ago, actually, at a Disclosure Festival, Mass Meditation Disclosure Festival. Disclosure. Yeah, and it happened in L.A., Los Angeles. The first time everybody gathered to do a mass meditation, uh -huh. um, and we were both attracted to that, and we have a mutual friend who felt we should meet because we were both involved in doing projects in Colombia. Oh. She was involved in an organic farm and I had a whole vision of doing a retreat. So he's like, you have to meet. We met and then we started developing this idea of doing work in Colombia and doing retreat. And from that, this whole company actually was conceived. Yeah. We, not too long we ago. found out that both we are artists, so we're musicians, she's a singer and songwriter and so am I. And then we felt, we always felt that we wanted to do something with music and you know as a as a i've been um practicing reiki for you know a couple of years and i always have this idea of i wanted to also use music as a healing tool and then uh one day she also invited me to a sound bath in la it, it's done at the cathedral and she was uh, uh singing with her voice so, and I felt that, like, I really felt that sound, the human voice is also a powerful tool for healing. And then things just, like, connected, kind of connected the dots for us. Like, why don't we do a retreat together with using the sound healing? We wanted to do our own sound bath and sound healing. And I also have a background in uh, nutrition and, you know, so combining all different type of elements of healing modalities. So we call it a uh, healing sound alchemy. So we're alchemizing uh, sound and energy healing, like Reiki or pranic healing or uh, nutrition, because also the food contains vibration. So it's all about, you know, energy. Yes. So we're bringing different parts and the language also, mm -hmm. because it's, language is also sound exactly. and tap into a different parts of our brain to kind of enhance the brain cognition, the learning skills. So everything is kind of like connected you yes. know, for us learning learning new language or the you know learn to sing or something like that so we wanted to create that experience you know for a personal transformation and healing so that's why we call it healing sound alchemy we're alchemizing all this you know different you know tools Beautiful. you are alchemists so both of us um i know for myself i'm a survivor of incest so i realized thank you i realized that <clears throat> the way out is through the power of art, through the power of music. Oh, absolutely. In my darkest hours, when I felt the most depressed, it was my voice that always brought me out. And I said, well, at least I have this voice to share. Right. So I am in, I've realized that I'm an alchemist and I'm transforming that venom into anti-venom and dispersing the vials. And that's, that's what we're alchemizing, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's where we also connected on a personal level from what we experienced growing up. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just that the music has been really helpful for us um, dealing with our childhood trauma and all this you know, negative thing that we we're exposed to and music really empowered me and kept me, you know, uh, stay in the past. So I wasn't able to drift into, you know, in some doing some crazy stuff like selling drugs or, you know, yeah. bad things, you know, yes. that you can easily, you know, uh, influence by you know, negative environment. Mm -hmm. So I was able to focus on, you know, my dream and goals that the music really helped me. And also the, a place for uh, like a comfort, you know, the music uplifts your spirit, no matter how sad Absolutely. you are, angry you music are. Music calms the savage beast. Yeah. yeah. So I know there was something to the music and I right. just didn't know back then, but now everything becomes very clear. And then by, you know, connecting with her and then we realize that like we can really help each other to also realize our personal uh, vision and our personal goals. So where do you guys practice? Where do you guys uh, work out of? We work out at our homes, uh -huh. certain studios that we have that we have access to as well. Mm -hmm. um, so 
different uh, spaces, and then we're looking to do events worldwide. We're looking at possibly Wonderful. doing something in Notre Dame in, in Paris. Um, yeah, that's one we, of our We are events. basically, um, we're literally new. It's, this company just started it a few months ago, okay. and so we're um, planning our retreats. Our main retreats we are planning in Colombia, and also we're uh, we're also looking to do here and locally here in yes. California. Yes, well, you're well welcome as... to do it here. Oh yeah, yeah thank, you. thank you, yeah. thank you, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, so we're just putting all together uh, our program awesome. for awesome. retreat and also we're a sound concert, so we can demonstrate um, the sound healing through our voices and also incorporating electronic music as well. So it's, it's, it gives a little bit of a, a uniqueness for what we do. And there's, you know, so many sound baths and it's wonderful. These things are, you know, coming to more like accepted yes. in today's world. You know, maybe we should try a, a, a field trip to the Integratron. Oh, oh yes, we were talking about that yes. last night. Yes. I will, yes, yes. let's I will totally do it. I'm so, I'm so glad you, sent me that link and you know because I was just watching that uh, movie Sonic Geometry Sonic. and it talks about the Van right. Tassel oh. who discovered oh yes the the, the formula you yes. know the so um about that the frequency one over t yeah yes oh so Everything you saw the video is, yes yeah. I wish that thing was fired up to work the way it was designed uh -huh, uh -huh. it's supposed to actually reverse the aging aging process. exactly wow that's powerful mm -hmm. but currently they are doing events once a uh, once a month well, no, currently they're doing sound baths. Sound baths, right. They're right. doing sound baths. But, it, but, but it, the way the Integratron was designed, it was actually supposed to be a thing filled with magnets. Oh, and, I see. Yes, and, and, and then once the top started, started spinning, it's supposed to spin because of the, the magnetic field of the Earth uh, in perpetuity. Well, oh, we'll my gosh. To do it then. I know, right? To do it. <laughs> I think that, that will create like a vortex, a like vortex. a timeless zone that literally like... Uh, reverse our aging and you know stops the time <laughs> yes and <laughs> you, you know, can be able to powerful. like you can you can see you know the crucifixion or caesar's soldiers marching or something like that mm -hmm. yeah. the future the medicine of the future is sound yes, yes, yes. we've learned so we've as artists as i'm a performing artist for a long time i've been studying the classical vocal technique i've been acting i've been figure skating um so i've always been involved in performing arts and she met me when i was working in a in the sound, in the sound bath, and the sound healings of you know, Guy Douglas, one of a pretty big uh, sound healer, and I loved the the opportunity to be able to meld the performing aspect mm -hmm. with the power of healing through through your voice and through music. Now, you guys met in Colombia? No, no, here. no, no here. I'm here. Okay. This culture yeah. fest in Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. But we both year. had the connection with Colombia. Nice. Yeah. So that was the that was like that the, was a, the yeah. basis, the foundation. And I've been doing right. a lot of events there. Um, shot my music video there. And Colombia has a big draw right now. So really? a lot of people are wanting to go and explore. And we have connections also with with the Yanomamo, with the uh, and the indigenous people of La Sierra Nevada. So we want to do a lot of retreats and go back to ancient yes. civilizations and learn from them. And have, yes. You know. Yeah, the Kogi tribes has a message for us to really coexist with the nature, mm -hmm. and I think that's that holds the key for us to like have abundance and health and harmony with the planet Earth, so we can really have prosperity and abundance and perfect health and. It's just uh, that we are so off balance. We're so, yes. you know, off trail, for you. Off, yeah, off trail from the nature. So now it's time to kind of get back into it. And with the, you know, use of technology in the right way mm -hmm. um, and the science and everything kind of like fall into place now that we have all this knowledge from the past. Mm -hmm. So um, also with, with our sound healing, we're using a lot of ancient instruments because the ancient instruments are already uh, tuned in a specific frequency and harmonics yes. that is a little bit different from a digital music which is kind of altered yes. so we talk about the frequency 432 kilohertz which is like the natural um, harmonics that is really beneficial to our body and but someone yeah, yeah there's a different kicker uh, the frequencies that resonate with our chakra system mm -hmm. and also helps to stay in that that the brain will continue to release serotonin and dopamine in, in like happy state because we're we're designed to stay in a happy state and joyful state yes. so we can really thrive 
-hmm. But once we have a lot of uh, negative emotions like fear, anxiety, that's that's where the disease starts. Exactly. Like yes. become this ease. I say separate the word this ease. ease. It's not easy. Yes. You're it's not hardship. Too much suffering. Too much hardship. That is kind of like deterring away from our true nature. So everything becomes unbalanced. Everything becomes uh, like a survival mode. It's mm -hmm. like hard to so that we we start you know having war with each other and not like sharing the resources or you know. Right. Uh, yeah. We're in fight or flight mode exactly. with each other all the time. Yeah. Exactly. So I really think the sound, the, the music and sounds hold the key. So that's yes. why Ed, Edgar Casey. Um, if you, I've oh, heard yeah. of Edgar Casey. <laughs> <laughs> He's known in the holistic healing health world, but so he says the the future, you know, medicine is a sound is a future medicine. Mm -hmm. So like that is so true. Because sound, you don't need to have any explanation. Right. It's just when you're universal. exposed to yeah. the sound, universal, universal language. language. Yes. yes. There's no sound. translation involved. Yeah, exactly. you just gets it. It immediately gets it. 60% water, so it yeah. enters you on a cellular level. And, and we cures vibrate. It. Exactly. It. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so it's you, a powerful puts you stuff. into that state of homeostasis mm -hmm. quickly, you know, efficiently. Yeah. And, and, and we can share it among other nations, which is what? I want the beautiful which part. We want to do. Yeah, yeah. It unifies us as people. Yeah, it's so important. Yeah. I feel like a great responsibility to do that, to be a life force on, on a global level. Yeah. That's very interesting. You know, I would like to try you guys uh technique. Yeah, we have an event yeah. coming up soon. Yes, definitely. So we'll, we'll be yes. posting that. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. We're yeah. planning yeah. up. You have a website. Yes. Yes. Please let everyone know. Healingsoundalchemy.com. Um, my personal website, AndreaPSigns.com. And the same personal is NasiMurakami.com. <laughs> right. Great, great. Now, uh, we were just talking earlier about... Uh, are we good? We were just talking earlier about um, where we are in the planet. Right. Right? That we're entering... Uh, it's my belief that we're entering the age of Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, from what I understand, the vibration of the planet is raising. Right. Yes. And we are a part of the planet. Yes. As much as the grass and the trees and everything else. Absolutely. And so our vibration is going to increase or is increasing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, how do you think you guys are uh, going to help with that transformation? into the next phase. Because we know, we were talking earlier about how the uh, heavy metals in our environment, heavy metal toxins are blocking the pineal gland. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's keeping us from reaching our full potential. Exactly, people. exactly. Well, yeah. sound uh, is a huge part of it. Um, you know, have more opportunity to, to you know, um, try sound healing, sound therapy, sound bath, and really, because this music and sound really helps us to expand our consciousness. Mm -hmm. So what happened is the earth frequency is changing, so as our body is changing, but everybody's different uh, pace. Yes. Some people are, you know, uh, ascending faster. Some people are kind of still stuck in a lower vibration or still kind of, you know, having difficulty elevating. So the more we, you know, sh uh, share the awareness of how beneficial the sound healing is, to raise our vibration so people can you know um, gradually you know reach reach the point where we're we're, we're reaching uh, we're having harmony right exactly. yes exactly harmony between human beings yes that's exactly what's gonna create the better world for us better health and yes. everybody to get along and yeah. create that you know really um like a paradise again, you know, it's yeah. possible. It's totally yeah. possible. The end it's... of war, the end yes. of strife, the end of mm -hmm. all of this. Yeah. Sickness and disease. Sickness, yeah. Yes, I really believe that um, music and sound can cure disease and just bring us into balance, mm -hmm. you know. And um, uh, well, I wanted to share quickly something about um, there's an experiment. Um, it's called Water Experiment by Dr. Emoto Masaru. I don't know if you heard about it. He's a Japanese uh, scientist. So he did this test um, of having a water in two separate glass. And one he sends out like the beautiful prayers, like I love you in gratitude, yes. versus the other water with like I hate you, you die, like all this anger and negative oh, wow. thoughts. So he sent it out. And then uh, 
look into the microscopic, you know, a lens, like a special equipment, and he will see that the water has a, like the molecules and then forms into crystal. Mm -hmm. So that energy we emit, the literary, the, uh, the positive one, form a beautiful shape of crystal, like you see, like a snowflake, mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. But anything that negative, it looks like ugly, really? uh, ugly shapes. Oh, so, goodness. wow, because our body is made up of like 70% or more water. water. Yep. So what happened is the water transmits that. Anything that we put out in the word or energy or thoughts mm -hmm. that's negative, it starts destroying ourselves. It starts to create that disease, the sickness, the out of balance. Um, that's also connected to our brain. The brain will uh, uh, start to have this uh, neuron path that's destructive yes. versus something you sent out beautiful thoughts, prayers, beautiful sound, the positive energy. The brain will create a new neuron path. Love. Right? Because Love. It's the most powerful exactly. force in the universe. Love is the yeah. best medicine. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the experiment. It's almost like. Um, kind of esoteric in a way, we cannot see or touch, but then he, he did this experiment so we can see in our eyes. Because a lot of people are skeptics, right? We don't believe until we see it. Right. So now that proves that the energy is there, energy yes. is real. And, so, you, and, and your word is a projection of your spiritual energy. Absolutely. Yes, exactly. It's a projection of your intention. Right, right, right. So I became really mindful about what language I speak. You know, like I, I used to live in New York and like everybody's like using cuss words all the time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we just do it jokingly, but yeah. like you don't realize what that words holds, that certain energy and vibration. Yeah. So, oh, wow, I don't want to say that. Like, I don't want to talk down to myself oh, or yes. I don't want to send someone, you know, like call names and stuff because right. you're meant to send someone, but then you're also listening to yourself. Right. So like, it's also destroying you at right. the same like, time. Right, like road rage in a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's like, they can't hear it, but right. it's, it's causing you a lot of harm. Yeah, like we talked about different, speaking different languages, right? Yeah. But changes, <laughs> changes our energy, changes the way we, exactly. we relate to others. Right, that's why uh, Hawaiian practice is like Ho'oponopono, like a forgi forgiveness, like the, um, they have this method to heal ourselves through like a forgiveness. So they have like the, almost like a ritual thing that they speak certain things to, like uh, to forgive and I love you and I, I kind of forget what it exactly, but so uh, forgiveness is the most also important part yeah. because when you hold that energy, the anger, negativity, we're not releasing it, that is going to start destroying us. Yes, you know? and it, so does. it does. It does. It does. So, so slowly. Frozen yeah. anger. It exactly. turns into cancer exactly. and all kinds of other things. It ages us and makes us look <laughs> ugly. <laughs> yes, it you know, does. Unattractive. The most liberating thing is to forgive. To forgive. Yeah. Especially yes. those who you may hate the most or... Yes, letting go and just, you know, start resonating love frequency. <laughs> so I'll put that out there right now. All of you, and you know who you are, I forgive you. I forgive you. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> you know who you are. I forgive you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so liberating. It's like the most yes. beautiful thing. Anita Morjani, um, speaking of fear, for instance, she was uh, a woman who feared having cancer her entire life. I don't know if you're familiar with her story. Her father died of cancer, her best friend died of cancer, and she said, I'm going to die of cancer, I'm going to get cancer. And sure enough, guess what happened? So oh she had goodness. tumors the size of lemons all over her body. She spoke she went, it into herself. Mm -hmm. She died, went to the other side, and her father and her best friend told her, you actually don't belong in this realm. And she said, well, what do you mean? I died. I what do you mean? Around. Did you see my body? <laughs> yes, I, well, I and they back, said, right? no, you don't belong here. And in that realm, she realized that it's fear that kills She's back on Earth, oh. wrote a little piece on a message board. Wayne Dyer, who I'm sure you know, he found her on a message board and said, Anita, come with me and tour all over the world. She's, that's all, that's the reason she is here. So it's people like those, for instance, mm -hmm. who are teaching us that fear and lack of forgiveness is what's slowly killing us. And that's yes. the basis oh, yes. of who, what we're trying to do through, through sound mm -hmm. and music. Mm -hmm. It's to create that, that love. Exactly. That's Especially true. today, people are really struggling with tremendous stress. Mm -hmm. The stress with uh, a lot of pressure, the finances, the economy, and all these things, the, something that outside of us affecting us in a tremendous way. And so that pressure is like something 
you cannot medicate or put band-aids to it. No. So that's where I feel like the, the music, the power of sound um, really helps, like mm -hmm. uplift something that you cannot really, I mean, you can take a depression pills forever, but is it really curing? No, it's just covering up. You're just learning to manage, but that's yes. not really solving the problem. And you're, you're putting toxins into your liver. Exactly. You're creating Side a drug effects. dependency. If you go also off the drug, you might become suicidal. Yes. There's a lot of imbalances. So it's, it's, it's you know, what's actually already given from the ancient time, mm -hmm. from the Sumerians, you know, mm -hmm. when the, the planet Earth started. Yes. The music was already there. It was. It's not something that we discovered or we invented it. It was already there. And, you know, when you look at the Bible, the, the first thing is that God spoke it, like w the, w there was a word, right? Yes. So the, the word means music word. to us, you know, word, it's sound. Yes. The so sound cr created everything. So the, you know, there's a theory about how pyramid was created. Everything was created through sound. Vibration. Vibration. Moving the stones like uh, yeah. Tibetan monks, right? Mm -hmm. They're yeah. able to levitate stones with exactly. vibration Exactly. They can cut the, any, any, you know, the uh, hardest rocks or with the, the vibration. Yeah. yeah. Music. Right, Pretty exactly. Much. So I think, you know, there's so many ways that we can use the sound, the vibration, the frequency to even cure cancer or oh, cure absolutely. any type of ailment. So, yeah. so what people need to remember is that we are divine creatures. We are made from love, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So we have all the answers within. We have all the medications we need within. I don't know if you have a, medica a meditation practice. Uh, well, I do, but I use neurofeedback. <laughs> I use electronic, uh, electronic yeah. assistance. Mm -hmm. I meditate every day mm -hmm. uh, in the morning yes. and in the evening. Bed meditating into this, the yeah. business team, and we incorporate that in, into our practice and into our events. Um, nice. And that, in those moments, it's when I receive the the highest love and the most beautiful communication with my yes. higher power. And I know that everything that I need is within. You know, all the answers. So that's for me. That's very important for people to really, really understand that, so that you don't think it's outside of yourself or I can't do it. You have everything uh, you possibly yes. need. Yeah, yes. you know, yes. it's, within. it's inside. We can tap into that. The more you become aligned and balanced, you're connected to the source mm -hmm. because we have all kinds of blockages. Exactly. So once you clear that out, you you can you become really peaceful. There's nothing to seek outside or follow mm -hmm. someone, but every answer will just come within. The inspiration, the knowing, you know, the instantaneous knowing. And so we know what to do to cure ourselves, cure ourselves, what to not to eat, what to eat you know what you know all this because there are all the resources around us so once we can quiet our minds and like tap into ourselves they're within the gap yeah yes. the answer is always there. Yeah. Thank you. for those of you in facebook land we're having oh, we're still on the facebook yeah wow, we're still live. Facebook <laughs> oh my gosh i thought we took a break no, so no we had on. from the real film we're, oh, we're, we're having dimethyl sulfoxide or dmso Powerful, mm. delicious yes. actually. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> I love it. It's good. It is good. It's a tree sap product, a uh, solvent, and uh, it calms the entire nervous system. Uh, it heals a number of things. It is a muscle relaxant. Um, it heals um, mental retardation, alcoholism, drug addiction, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, mental and emotional conditions, and uh, it's just good for you. It passes the blood brain barrier. Um, whatever you mix it with, it'll bind to, so it helps you to digest things. I drip it on my vitamins oh, wow. in the morning. Oh, it's yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah. DMSO. DMSO, yeah. dimethyl We're going to be actually sulfoxide. utilizing this in yeah. our sound Oh, you would love it, yes. Yeah. It this work. is part of alchemy, you know, yes. it's alchemical integration. And preparing the body. Yes. It's effective. Yeah, it immediately feels really good. Really good, huh? Yes. Good and relaxing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Marco, how's it going? <laughs> we have an audience all the way from Switzerland. Oh, oh wow. Cool. Bonjour, Marco. <laughs> Or maybe it's bonsoir, right? At this time ah, of the day. Ah, bonsoir, oui. Je oh, vais. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're back rolling? Oh, cool, cool, all right. Um, great, so we're looking good and- uh, this Feeling is, uh, great. Feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thanks for coming. It's a beautiful experience. And, so and, and this is our first uh, interview on our new format. 
Yeah. No, we're honored. <laughs> Thank you. This is good. So, great, great. Tell us more about um, you guys' individual, you know, adventures in holistic health. And, uh... um, well, for me, I've, like I, I, like I mentioned earlier, I've been performing for a long time since I was a little girl and studying the classical technique of voice and figure skating and acting. And I always knew that the power of sound and the power of music was powerful. It helped yes. me in my depression, and I knew that I needed to do something more with it, and I envisioned healing people. I actually studied psychology. I would be in psychology, but I knew I wanted to do something with the arts. Really? And so it just found me, actually. I nice. started working in... You have a BA in psychology. I do. I yeah. love psychology. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I found me, I started working with, with uh, Guy Douglas and Simona um, with um, on their adventure in sound healing, and I was singing in their sound healing symphony, and I didn't, I wasn't seeking them, it, 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 it sought me out, okay. and then I met Nassim, and we started this beautiful experience, this beautiful project, this beautiful company, and I knew that, that this is it, this is the answer, <laughs> you know? Let's give them the company and the websites again. Yes. yes. Uh, HealingSoundAlchemy.com. HealingSoundAlchemy.com. My personal website, AndreaPSigns.com. And my personal is NassimMarakami.com. We also have a Facebook page, uh, Facebook.com slash HealingSoundAlchemy. So if you can like and follow us, we post our updates there. We post our videos about our rehearse rehearsals and photos we just did some photo shoots so we'll, like we'll have, have some events and retreats and nice. updates about the so. uh, upcoming workshops and retreats cool. on yeah. facebook yes yeah. so i'll share this video with your friends. oh That's great fantastic. that's that'll be yeah. great yeah yeah so my personal uh, journey for getting to this point was um um yes music was always part of my life since i was very young and, you know, I went through various, you know, um, trauma, like a childhood trauma, a, for, a fortunate thing. And I suffered pretty much like a lot of depression from like I was suicidal since nine years old. I growing up in Japan and different culture and I don't look like Japanese. So I was target targeted for bullying. So pretty much bullying for my whole school life. Wow. So, you know, when you go through that, like physically, emotionally, you know, so when you go through a lot of abuse and it really helped become like you become difficult learning, you know, mm -hmm. learning. And that also strips away your confidence and self-esteem. So, you know, I was kind of like set up like that, but there was a purpose for it. You know, at, at one point I have to make sense why I went through all this hardship and difficulties. And now I was able to transmute that, transmute that experience into you know uh, as a healer mm -hmm. so i discovered reiki healing which is also the reiki was discovered by a japanese monk so you know because i i was from japan so yes. i was automatically kind of curious and interested about that energy healing yes and then oh wow and i get it because i'm a musician i always like deal with the sound waves you know mm -hmm. in the studio when i use my music software so easy to understand everything is energy everything is vibration so energy healing totally like connected the dots with me. And then, so the uh, first person I actually uh, used my Reiki was my mother. She, she was diagnosed with cancer. So uh, although she was in Japan, I was able to send her a distance healing. Wow. Because energy really? is not bound by time no, or, or distance. Space. Yes. It's like a th our thoughts, right? How we manifest things into reality. It's not bound by time. It's just happened with the energetic frequency and, you know, it's, it's just it's some, some kind of magical way, right? It happens, right? Mm -hmm. When there's a frequency and um, a match happens, you know? Yes. Like this radio manifested because yes. we sent out something in the universe right. and there was a vibrational match. So everything is like a match that it, you know, brings into life, brings into fruition. A union that's yeah. supposed to happen. Exactly. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, when I start practicing Reiki and then, oh wow, and then the more and more it become clear about my mission. So now I went through all this horrific experience as a child and growing up young adult. Also, I, I went through a, a domestic violence with my previous marriage. So I had a lot of trauma with the relationship, you know, trusting other men when you go through the abusive relationship. Um, 
actually, I went through like a near death experience twice. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So it was a lot of trauma within me. Yes. And I could be totally, you know, give up my life so many times that I thought I was giving up. But now I feel like, okay, this is my mission now. I'm here to really help other people. Mm -hmm. So the music really helped me to keep me positive. And mm -hmm. also, um, you know, it's just keep me in a good space, good, good yes. place. So, and then I meet, you know, the right person and then share the vision like Andrea. Mm -hmm. And like, wow, this start really makes sense. This is it. Like, this is what I'm, 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 I'm here to do, you yes. know? Yeah. And then all the things, other resources, other people come to help realize our personal goal as well as our company's mission yeah. to help others, to serve others, to help with this, you know, raising vibration and, you know, That's your, world. Uh, your Bushido? <laughs> Hmm? Bushido. Bushido yes. Oh yeah, in Japan, yes, it's like a samurai. Yeah, <laughs> your mission. Uh -huh. your, yeah. Yeah, the brain is so powerful that when you start visualizing anything in your mind's eye, it doesn't know the difference of whether it's here or in that reality, and then it starts bringing in other people. It starts bringing in energy. It starts Attracting your network. And then there you are. you have exactly what you've been envisioning. Yes. Right, yes. right. That's pretty much how we met and how yeah. it That's the magic that's happening. Right, in exactly. That's yeah. Exactly. That's why sometimes we go through different, because it's not always a good thing, right? The life has ups and downs, right. yes. a lot of challenges, because those things are happening for us to grow, you know, spiritually. They're blessings. And, uh, but it's, it's kind of like a... a, a it's kind of like being tricked in a way, but we need to overcome that. Always maintain that that we see ourselves in success, or we see us ourselves prospering. Yes, we're seeing ourselves, so we have to always visualize we're there instead of caught up in that you know challenges and war, and then giving to power, power, giving our power away to fear or you know have a disbelief, and so that creates the energy, you know, sends out the energy that you will experience more of that, more of the negativity because you're stuck in that. Whatever you concentrate on expands. Exactly. 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 Expand. That's yes. a law of attraction, right? The more you focus on, that's what's going to happen, whether mm -hmm. it's good or bad. Mm -hmm. So choose good, right? Exactly. <laughs> we don't want to have bad things keep happening to us. No. Yeah. So the sound, right. music, kind of like, it's like a meditation. It breaks the pattern. So when people are stuck with this negative, it's like almost like a, a habit. You know, it's like we, something, okay, even if it's uncomfortable, we're so used to it, we're going to start thinking about it over and over because that's what we know. It's easier for us to stay in comfort zone than trying something new. Yes. That's a tremendous fear to some people. Even if it's painful, if it's familiar, we're going to keep doing it. Exactly. We're settling for something we're familiar instead of expanding to move up to something unknown. That could be an amazing thing, but because of the fear we're trapped and then we're just repeating that same patterns right destructive uh definition of insanity is doing same thing over and over <laughs> right <laughs> you know, you know, it's bad yes. 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 <laughs> yeah so that gives us another good point we we touched on forgiveness earlier yes, we and did. now gratitude gratitude yes. gratitude and you all you know who you are as well <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Exactly. Thank you for fulfilling your contract with me. Uh, whether it was a positive or a negative experience, I thank you because it brought me to where I am today. Yeah. Exactly. It can change you, you in two seconds that. flat. Yes. Just being grateful. Totally. Just be grateful. From great gratitude and just be thankful for what for we have. Breathing for Start our Start to yes. elevate our vibration. Yeah. Yes. So just going back to the, what I was explaining before, this, like the sound healing is almost like a, the same as like a meditation. So it breaks the cycle of our thought, our mind scatters, like thousands of thoughts go through. That's yes. why meditation is important to like still our mind and just eliminate that all this talk, toxic thoughts and have like a state of like uh, um, uh, no mind zone. If you practice meditation enough, exactly. you're able to have control of your thoughts. So then you're able to bring in more positive thing, more inspiration. You're connected to the source. Yes. So instead of stuck in that negative place, you're able to change. You're able to re re rewrite your brain a neuron path. So a lot of benefits in meditation, you know, breath work and then sound healing because they all do the same thing. It's interrupt 
whatever, you, you might have a suicidal thoughts, that it will instantly interrupt that thoughts right. when you're exposed to the music or meditation or breath work, energy healing, anything. It's a cellular like that. level that you're yeah. doing. That's being yeah. focused. Because our DNA is designed to survive. It's designed to thrive. But protect other parts of the body. It's like a, a, a me mechanism. You know, there's something become really harmful and toxic. That's what the cancer is, right? Trying to protect the rest of the body, but that part become really harmful. So that's why it turned into a tumor. Mm -hmm. So it's like the survival mechanism. But we don't need to like go through the suffering when we have all these tools. Exactly. Yeah. To yeah. elevate yeah. our being life force vibration. vibration. Helping each other, you know, as you, you need to unite. Speaking mm -hmm. of tools, you played a whistle earlier. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes I yes. could definitely use another hit of it. Absolutely. <laughs> Let me go get it. <laughs> She's got a whistle that plays a frequency or a number of frequencies, right? Yeah. A, a combination of it's frequencies. It's two pitches. Two pitches. It cleans your pineal gland. Cleans the pineal. So, everybody ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Let me start again because the two pitches aren't there. Let me turn it around. That feels good. So some people may not understand what the pineal gland is. It's a, it's located in right by our, our forehead, like a center of the chin. It's like a cone. Yeah. Yes. So this is a place we receive like a, a intuition. So it's a, it's a, it's called third eye. It's like a different invisible, you know, mind's eye. So it's connected to the psychic realm and then different dimensions. It's the only organ that looks <laughs> like the, the the life the flower. Yeah feels really good. Yeah, so yeah. that helps to cleanse and open it up. I don't know if it sounds the same on the, on the through your computer, uh, but you guys I, should I hope so, it. yeah. I hope should. so, yeah. yeah. You, should, you should hear what we hear here. Well, we'll be utilizing this in our, in right, our sound right. notes, in our, sound, in, our, yeah. in our concerts as well, so. Yeah, so something we'll certain, certain, certain instruments like a singing bowl, they usually have the overtone. So what happened is there's a two different sounds. Um, it creates the the resonate resonance. Mm -hmm. So that resonance really helps us. Like uh, for example, like the uh, like the brain entrainment, they use like a a, a binaural beat. Yes. There's cues. Yes. <laughs> different different uh, you know timings, mm -hmm. and it creates that resonant the field. Mm -hmm. So that really helps us to for brain to kind of like balances out. Yes. So sound us. Uh, I, I also use a tool called a, t uh, a tuning fork. So there's like a two two rods, mm -hmm. and uh, I use one and then two towards the ear. And actually, I do have it, so I can show it to you. I brought oh, some wonderful. bunch of <laughs> yeah, it's really, of, uh, really powerful bunch of uh, uh, stuff. But um, so with two, you can actually induce a binaural beat, right? Yes, it's almost like that concept is to kind of creating the almost like a binar binaural setup yeah. because the brain has a left and right brain uh -huh. and it, it works simultaneously right we have like the our bio rhythm cascadian rhythm they, they go mm -hmm. um i don't know if you're familiar with the neuro linguistic programming the nlp, NLP yes. yeah so sometimes we memor memorize things from the left or the right and it just goes in different you know throughout the day it switches off Nice. Yeah, so we have to, to tap into both memories from brain, left and brain to recall the past trauma uh -huh. and kind of give, you know, release it, you know, through the, you know, techniques of mm -hmm. NLP and then reprogram the positive using all the sensories. So we're tapping to different sensories to kind of reprogram so we can able to eliminate, you know, uh, phobias and all kinds of stuff. So this is called tuning fork. And these wow. are, uh, yeah, there. if you see it. <laughs> so Tuning I use this force. for my Reiki healing. Um, I, I also incorporate sound healing to my Reiki practices. 
So these are all um, specifically attuned for aligned with a certain chakra. So for example, <clears throat> this is for a root chakra. And the root chakra. Root chakra is basically we have a seven energy centers yes. that oversees like our organs, our you know emotions, and mm -hmm. so everything is connected to this energy. So in the Chinese uh, uh, um, medicine, we talk about the ener meridians. So the each body part has like an energy, yes. uh, like a portal yes. that sends signals. Yes. You know, so it's chi, right? Hmm? It carries chi. Yes, chi yes. energy. So chi. the energy flows. So there's like a you know parts of the energy meridian. So we, that's why the acupuncture you stimulate those meridians to heal certain parts of our body or something that's out of balance. So everything is a concept of energy. The Reiki is also the, the this harmonized, unbalanced energy will bring him back to balance and whole, so that everything starts to flow perfectly. So you're able to uh, um, eliminate, you know, sickness. A body heals itself. Body is just constantly regenerating and healing. So I just wanted to uh, put what it sounds like, and you can combine with a, you know, different sound. So you have two two different sounds. So it creates that uh, um, resonance. Mm -hmm. Harmonic resonance. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, harmonic resonance. So those are the powerful. That sounds really. Yeah, yeah, it does. Powerful tool. Yeah, it just gives you the calm feeling when you're listening to meditation yes, music or vinyl beats, and um, yeah, you'll definitely feel it. So that's why I think it's Very the future impressive. is the medicine is the sound. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. absolutely. Yeah, it's doubt. just the balancing out. So it's interesting how modern medicine. I'm not, you know, discounting the modern medicine is all bad. It, it does the purpose, you know, like the painkiller, and it just, so we need certain things to just to get through our day. Yes. But it's not perfect, right? There's a side effects and long term, it might, you know, cause another problem. And dependency is what you have to yes. Dependency, yes. yeah. Not being dependent but on these are natural, holistic elements don't have side effects. No. Yeah. It's, it's not harmful. And it's just, it's already there from, from given by nature, and it was just there from... The ancient times, right? So it's kind of like a resurfacing now. Yes, yes. You know, like you right talked about it. Coming coming exactly. Like we began the conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, entering this age. Yeah. We're so this the one also we use a, like a singing bowl. This is like a Tibetan singing bowl. So these are also designed to produce certain frequency that's this is specifically for healing. So it helps you to like calm and so if you listen to it, there's a almost like a two different sound. You see the higher notes and the lower notes. Can you hear the difference? Yeah. Two resonance. And then, yeah. Yes. And there is also a tribal tribal groups in uh, 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 Mongolia. I think uh, they're, the tribe's called uh, Tuvans. And they are known for overtone singing. So they sing in a way that produces two different pitches. pitches. So it's pretty amazing. We'll be both practicing because yeah. it's like we sing it like that. It's like, whoa, we're like so like... Or you get high, you yourself. Yeah, we're yeah. really like, yeah. whoa, it's like we're in a different dimension. Yeah. So this is one person singing with one two different One person singing and producing yeah. two wow. different notes. And you use your tongue to kind of like seal the top of your mouth. Okay. So the air flows and it's one kind way. of split into different sounds, but it creates the perfect pitch harmony. So have you noticed when you listen to someone singing off key and makes you feel like, ugh, mm -hmm. wanna throw up or something, mm -hmm. it's so off key. It's bad. Yeah, so that's what's happening. If you're off balance, it's like, it doesn't feel good. Yeah. So when it's perfect mm -hmm. harmony, it's really help us to lift our spirit and also really energize us and feel good, you know? So, um, yeah. Now in your practice, do you use more of those type of singing bells? Mm -hmm. bells singing yeah, we have, yeah, we have different tools, different really? instruments. Yes, we, we have all kinds of unseen instruments. Yeah. And the synthesizers. And human voice, and... obviously. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm the singer, and 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 Nasima and I are are building. We're creating our album, 
Mm -hmm. uh, so we incorporate ancient instruments yes. with some of the modern instruments that, yes. mm. that exist. Now, how long does a session last? An hour and a half, yeah. usually. An hour and a half, yeah. maybe up to two hours, depends on you know how, how we wanted to create that. Yeah. We're also not only sound bath, but we're also trying to come up with like a concert. So, for example, um, people usually go to the nightclubs. We want to reach to those people instead of getting drunk and you know being in that environment that's yes. like oh, it's negative music. Toxic. It could be like exactly. music can be really negative with the negative real lyrics and all oh this profanity. Yeah. But and I believe that's by design too. Oh, exactly. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No because it really uh, put an imprint in our subconscious mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, violent message or some you know, degrading message. Separation. Of course. It's yes. all separation and hate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so terrible. we wanted to kind of bring that into that crowd. You can still feel good and be cool and trendy, but mm -hmm. in a healthy way. Right. Yes. You know? Absolutely. So we wanted to kind of create the opportunity for people to like come and mingle and you know still party but in a in a healthy in a high vibrational way. way. Yeah. So Where they'll, they'll be, they'll just receive the sound and, yeah. and it, they'll, they'll raise their vibrations right. without needing those toxins, the alcohol and things yeah. that are, that are separating you. Right. And, 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 and it'll be a social, a social experience as well. Exactly. Exactly. Because that social experience is what's really important. We're social creatures. Yes. And we wanted to, that's why the festival is so popular now. People want to connect with each other and in a nature settings and with, with music and so we also we're interested in you know doing some festivals or attending other f festivals. Um, there's you know so many opportunities and unlimited ways that we can reach out. You know, so our our goal is to really make this a mainstream that you know bringing the sound healing into the mainstream. Yeah, nice. and an international light and yeah. field. Now you're familiar with meridians. You know where the meridians are? Yes, energy meridians. Yeah, I don't know exactly all the old parts because there's like uh, hundreds of, you know. Oh, meridians. yes, yes. They're, they're right. very intricate, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. I've uh, done a little bit of um, acupuncture. Hold on, I've got something to show you. Yes, <laughs> you want to see it. This is something that we do here at the Biomed Rx wow. Health Center. It's a Meridian Energy Pen. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, that's incredible. I think I came across that once. Like I saw it. I wanted to try it. Here, by all means. Wow, how do you how do you use this? Can you show us like a sure. show us how to do it? <laughs> Get it a little moist. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, it's tingling me while I do it. And my heart meridian is what I like to do. Okay. So I'm going to touch it right here. Oh, yeah. And if I were to, oh, yeah, you can see my hand starting to respond. You have to feel into you. Pulse? Oh, yes. It's sending a pulse. Wow. I'll, I'll show you. So this is like a needless acupuncture. Needleless acupuncture, yes. That's amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh, yes. And your nerve is responding oh, yeah. to that. Yeah. I'm not moving my finger, but it's being moved by the pulse. Wow. Right. Want to try? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you put it here? Well, there's a number of meridians it shows in the book that you can find. Uh, depends on what you're looking for. Oh, Bladder. I see. Yeah. Uh -huh. The heart, you see I was hitting here. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see what's, uh, what, what are you? I think the liver is good because our liver is always bombarded with a bunch of toxins. Absolutely. <laughs> Although I eat world. healthy, but what we're breathing and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the heavy metals as we talked about. Yeah, liver. The chemtrails, I don't mind saying it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's we're being the truth. sprayed. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many uh, pressure points. Allergy tested. Okay. Yeah, we can't. Oh, we can't liver. hide the facts anymore. You know, no. we can't just sit here. Oh, and it's in the foot. Okay, I can do we, it. We have to share. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, you have boots on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do the heart. Yeah. Okay, I'll do the heart. Okay, so, too. I think it was here. 
Yeah, I think I think I should have gone to the outside, right? Or more on a radius. I right was on here. the ulna. Yeah. So you press. Yep, you have it on the number now, uh -huh. right? Yeah, and just try to find it. Ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is too shocking. I think that was like all the way to the in, no, no, like no, no. intensity, like high intensity. Oh my god, that's too shocking for me. <laughs> How about one? Try it on one. Oh, Even shoot. though one How is pretty intense. How about honey She's scared now. I'm not scared Oh my god, so scary. Whoa. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, let's try this one. Ooh, I'm really sensitive. I'm really sensitive. I'm still shocked. I think I'm very sensitive. You Maybe like I don't are. need anything on my heart. You are in two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty powerful, huh? It and is. that's on one, that's isn't powerful. it? How did what, what did you have it on? I had it on five. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's one. It's, I'm it's, kind of a I'm big guy. Sensitive. But this is very powerful. It's intense. I think it? does it work for like a shoulder aches and stuff? Oh, big time. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And I actually, I get a good, if I put it back here. Yeah, I get a, I get a really good, uh, yeah. really good relaxation across the trapezius. Mm. So did you come up? Is this your product? No, no, no. This isn't. It, this is a product that I purchased to help my biomagnetic pair therapy clients. I see. Yeah. But I think we're going to get into. You have some information here about sound healing. Well, yeah. We, this is just basically yeah, everything we've we've kind of discussed already. Um, okay. We're just excited to unveil um, yeah. the website officially um, and for our retreats uh, overseas and for our, our big concerts and mm -hmm. our sound baths here in LA and in these. Uh, different uh, states that surround California, mm -hmm. so we're just we're excited. We're really really excited to uh, to share with everybody yeah. everything we've been working on. Yeah. So uh, yeah, sound healing itself has numerous benefits. So a lot of people just think oh, it's just you know it relaxes you or uplifts spirits, but you know um, also the different frequency each has different purpose, right? Mm -hmm. So well. In just a nutshell, in, in, it usually helps with the anxiety, also helps with the brain cognitive function. Really? Helps you to learn things better. Um, you know, it just helps you with the mental wellness. So people have been using sound healing from a long, long time ago. Just the beginning the, of time. From <laughs> the ancient Very Greek much. to yeah. the Egyptians, they've been using sound therapies. Mm -hmm. um, at the you know the high priests and temples, all these places, they they know the value of sound healing. So people all over, um, you know, people, Mayans or indigenous people, Native Americans, they all used sound as to heal our body, heal our mind and spirit. So it's like a whole something that it's like a, a, a universal medicine. It works for everybody, anyone. Yeah. Any type of, you know, elements and sickness and disease. Maybe when we expand into Orange County, you guys can, we can, we can get a big enough space where you guys can use a, a room in the new Biomedal Rex Health Center. Yeah, and, and, awesome. and we can kind of, well, maybe offer a combination therapy. Oh, absolutely. Oh, definitely. Sound I love that. that. I think that would be super, super that would be beneficial. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But we're always looking for partnerships and for uh, yeah. the opportunities yeah. to collaborate. I think like the, having a sound healing always prepare for other treatment. Yes. So it just helps you to relax. And the, when you relax, it's most effective to do any type of healing. Yes. You know, that's why when I do my Reiki, I always incorporate with sound and a lot of time when you go to the massage place, they always have a calm music. Mm -hmm. And if you're, there's no music to it, it's, it's just a silence. I mean, silence is great too, but the music just helps you to kind of <coughs> set you in the right mode and right tone yes. and helps you to open up and relaxes you. So And, the, and forgiveness, like we talked about yeah. earlier. Forgiveness. One of the first, one of the most powerful feelings that I had during a, a really powerful sound bath breathwork sound bath that a guy Douglas does uh, is forgiving the person that hurt me the most that betrayed me um, oh. my you know the perpetrator um, in terms of the, the incest yes. Yes. Um, and being able to go there and communicate with this individual and face to face say I genuinely forgive you mm -hmm. and go on that journey and it was a lot of it was the breath the breath work 
So like I said earlier, it's the tools that we have within and that liberation that I felt afterwards, I felt like on fire. Like I was capable of anything, wow. you know? Incredible. So it's that that's the kind of opportunities we want to give people to mm-hmm. elevate to the highest point, to the highest degree in order to, to catapult and to make their dreams come true. Yes. You know? Yeah. All their, their yeah. visions. Because we're yes. capable of anything. And I we want everyone to be at their highest point and to be mm-hmm. self realized because that's what we're here to do. Exactly. Paradise is here. This exactly. is paradise. You know? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm really that. especially excited about our retreat that we're planning to do uh, in Colombia cool. and also in here in California or you know maybe San, uh, Sedona, Sedona and Arizona someplace you know in the west coast as yes. well the vortex uh, we're the vortex creating that, the magnetic yeah. vortex I can't wait to visit Sedona yeah. oh it's yeah. amazing it is. so we're creating that experience and we, we have an opportunity to also educate people you know uh, about you know not us what we do but other holistic healing, like energy healing, nutrition, sound healing, learning new languages, skills, what that does to our self-esteem and confidence and mental and spiritual health. So we're kind of packaging together. And of course, we do different fun ex- excursion, nature excursion, and, you know, different, uh, uh, like, we'll, we'll do live music shows, you know, a lot of entertainment as well. So, elixir of life is called yeah, elixir, it's called elixir okay. of life. <laughs> so I'll be teaching Spanish. Yeah. We'll be going on um, excursions and mm-hmm. doing rituals with the the kogis, with the people that live in the Sierra Nevada, visiting Peirona National Park. So Party. the kogis are uh, the native tribe, indigenous, indigenous, yeah. indigenous people indigenous, who yes. live on the, the Sierra Nevada and wow. bless the park. They actually shut mm-hmm. down the park for an entire month and bless I don't know which Peirona National Park is the equivalent of like Yosemite. It's okay. like the Yosemite of Colombia. Um, so they make sure that the land is is intact, and and they work uh, well with a lot of with with the citizens and the citizens so support them. So we, me as a Colombian citizen, I want to be able to give back and to support them and everything that they're doing, and to yes. to learn from them as well. Right. You know, to be educated yes. and, and to unite, which is I yeah. think one of the most important things for us to all remember is that we need. We need to unite as, as citizens yeah. of the world. They're the messengers for us to give back, to coexist with the nature, to be in harmony. So they have a lot to offer us, you know, their wisdom, how, how they use and work with the nature. Because survival of the fittest yeah. doesn't exist. Exactly. No. Everything See, is... a lot of uh, Native uh, Americans or Mayans know we're coming to this place that's really at the edge of really, really going to stay on the self-destructive path or we're going to create to heal the planet, heal ourselves and heal mm-hmm. the planet. Mm-hmm. We're right at the, you know, of the verge. Yes. So we need to really help people educate and raise their vibration to awareness so mm-hmm. we can really shift on this direction, not the self-destructive. Of course. Yeah, that's why I think it's so important that we come together, the yes, like-minded yes. people, and yeah. we just be like share forces. and edu- keep educating and mm-hmm. empowering each other. Absolutely. Keep mm-hmm. spreading keep spreading the good vibration. The love. Exactly. Yeah. The love. It's all about high vibration. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's imperative. You know, I personally feel a responsibility. I, I know that I have to do this. Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. You know, yeah, I, it's great yeah. when you find your vocation, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was educated in Catholic school when I was a kid, and, you know, the priests and the nuns would explain to us the difference between a job and a vocation, mm-hmm. you know, and a, a way of life, something that you commit your life to, and it's not just about dollars and cents. And right. Mm-hmm. Work, you know, nine to five. It's something right. that, that, that you live all day. And 24 hours. Exactly. 24 hours, yeah. you sleep it and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know exactly how it feels. Like I used to have a job, so, you know, work at the boring administrative work at the bank, or work at the car insurance company, or you know, um, I mean, jobs are important, you know. To if you have other goal to get to where you need to go, we all need yes. to do something, but to you know get to where we need to go. So there is a process of learning about. Also teaches us discipline. Yes. Learn about working for others, what that means, but also from coming from that just to like settle there and just to as a survival to actually use our gifts and talents create something that serves the world yes and in order to do that fearlessly and once you start doing that i know the universe will support it will start to bring in the abundance and finances needs it needed to yes. so, the opportunities. yeah 
Yeah, so I personally went through experience of like, oh, I need the job to pay bills. I can never quit this job. Mm -hmm. I need it. Like, although I have my dream career, I, you know, dream, the mission I wanted to do, because it's always about the finances, always about this. You are operating from a, a, a place of scarcity. And yeah, lack. scarcity yes. and lack. It's holding you back. Mm -hmm. So once we, like, okay, I'm, I'm, just, I'm done. I'm, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to be slave, like, to, to the system and just, like, just be a number. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm here to really carry out my mission, really live what I came here to do. Once you become clear with your purpose, life mm -hmm. purpose, and you take courage. So the, the, the key is to take courage. You have to take that step, right? right? Yes. It's scary for a lot of people. That's why people almost. stop dreaming because they're afraid. But once you take that, you know, uh, that leap, take, take that, yeah, quantum leap. Yes. The things will start, the path, the new pathway will open. Yes. Yeah. So that's where I, I feel with this, what we're doing here. It's like really start opening up the door for us. Start the, the path is becoming more clear and clear, mm -hmm. and meeting the right people like you, and yeah. more opportunities coming. And so we're really excited. We're we know oh this is the right path. Absolutely. Um, I think we're about to wrap up, right? Yeah, it was we wonderful. Had a, had a very yeah. good show. Thank you very much for having us. Yes. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you for very much for coming. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was wonderful experience. meeting and connecting with you guys, and. Um, I want to. I'm looking forward to your events yes. and having you guys work here at the Biomed RX Health Center yes, with me, so that we can do some of your events here. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we can unite and, and presentations. Maybe next time you can bring some of your uh, more bells and yeah, yes, we can we do can a sound. Totally do our sound bath. You know, sound bath and healing here right. and broadcast it and broadcast it yes. as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We'd love to do that. Great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for, for having us. It was a Thank wonderful you. experience. You're, you. you're doing beautiful work in the world. So I, yes. I Thank commend you. So are you. Namaste. Awareness. Now, one more time, let's get your URLs yes. and the phone number, right? Show us some yeah, you can uh, reach me. Um, so my name, once again, is Andrea Sainz. This is beautiful to see. And our, our website is healingsoundalchemy.com. And my personal website is andreapscience.com. Nasimarakami.com and also make sure to follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash healing sound alchemy. And you can just send us direct messages there. Um, and, and just uh, on, on our Facebook, uh, and our on our website, there's a contact uh, information page as well. So you can direct us, uh, send a direct yeah. message as well there. So we look forward uh, to working with all of you and stay tuned for our events, our Elixir of Life retreats in Colombia and our, our um, concerts as well. Thank you very much. Have a Thank wonderful you. day. Devin Lockett, and this is Biomed RX TV.